you know, there is an opportunity there for the pub trade, uh, you know, you know, but, uh, you know, overall, uh, what has happened in the last uh, week or so is, is not going to be good for pubs. Uh, you know, we are stocked up. Uh, we're staffed up, uh, and I think we've been a bit stitched up, uh, to be quite honest. Um, you know, we're seeing bookings being cancelled left, right and centre. Uh, some of them uh, uh, big parties that would have uh, kept us going over the next few weeks to make us busier than we are uh, normally for the whole year. Uh, we are, the work from home order will affect town centre pubs and also other pubs that rely on commuter trade from local train stations. Uh, and customer uh, confidence uh, will take a big uh, knock. Uh, we have a lot of uh, once a year pub goers uh, who might be put off. And also a lot of regular pub goers, uh, especially in the older generations, will be a bit nervous to come out. Uh, so it, it it's whilst there is opportunity to try and get people to work in the pub, um, as ludicrous as that may sound, uh, when they're not allowed to work in the office, um, it, it, it's not a good situation. Um, and we've got to look at the background too. We've only been open for four months properly uh, in the whole of 2020. 21. Uh, we were closed and restricted uh, for most of 2020. We're paying debts. Uh, we're dealing with huge cost increases in utilities uh, and staff wages. Um, and the bottom line here is that businesses cannot survive in a perpetual state of disaster. Uh, and we really do need the government to move us on, calm things down and start living with it, which they've been talking about uh, since the summer of 2020.